Welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, I'm going to solve an, an equation using the distribution property. So we are presented with this algebraic equation and we are asked to solve and check our solution. So begin by writing down the equation on paper. Okay. Now we need to focus on this part of the equation first. So anytime you see parentheses in an algebraic equation, we must clear the parentheses. To clear parentheses, you need to distribute. So I'm going to bring this over here. This is a bit of a graphic organizer. It's the area model. You can either distribute by multiplying 2 times 4 and 2 times negative 2x. I like to have my students create this graphic organizer, this area model, to make sure that they're not making any errors. So we're going to do 2, we can see where we got that from, that's the value that's outside the parentheses. And then we take this expression inside the parentheses and we bring it to the top of each box. So 2 times 4 is 8, you can see that's the area of this rectangle. And then the second rectangle is 2 times negative 2x, which is negative 4x. So I now know that this expression, 8 subtract 4x, is equivalent to this value in the red circle. So I'm going to transfer this 8 minus 4x right here. So I got that from distributing 2 times 4, 2 times negative 2x. And we still have our subtract 10 equals negative 4. So now we want to consider this equation now that everything is cleared, the parentheses are gone, and we just have terms. So I want you to recognize what these terms are. We have 8, negative 4x, negative 10, and negative 4. Noticing that we have three terms on the left side of the equation. And our end goal, our goal is to have a variable term and a constant term. So I know because I have three terms here that I must have like terms that can be combined. So 8 and negative 10 are both constant terms and can be added. 8 and negative 10 are negative 2. So you can see I've combined those terms still have negative 4x equals negative 4. So now that I have just a constant term and a variable term, I want to isolate this variable term, remembering that that is negative 4x. I want this all alone. So I want to undo this negative 2. So I want to create a zero pair so that it becomes zero. So the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides of the equation using the addition property of equality, which will leave me my negative 4x, don't lose that negative sign, and negative 4, add 2, is negative 2. So now that I've isolated my variable term, I want to find out what x is equal to. So I need to undo multiply by negative 4. The inverse of multiply is to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by negative 4. Do the math. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. Remember that coefficient of x is 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 4 is positive 1 half, or you may write it as a decimal, 0 0.5. Now we've been asked to check our solution, so let's check. So I'm going to go back to my original equation and I'm going to replace this x with the one half that I solved for. That's my solution. So all I've done is take the original equation and put the one half in place of the x. So now I'm going to do the math by order of operations inside the parentheses first. 2 times one half is 1. Still working in the parentheses, 4 minus 1 is 3. Now I can multiply. 2 times 3 is 6 and then I subtract. 6 subtract 10 is negative 4. That equals negative 4. It checks. So I am confident that my solution is x is equal to 1 half. Thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video.